Hey, how's it going, everybody? So, uh, I've had a bunch of requests for my uh, uh, to to basically do a awesome config, pretty much from the ground up. So, what I've I have here, it's uh, pretty much just stock um, awesome window manager. I've got a bunch of stuff I've done in the background. So, you know, if we go to uh, CDA is a shortcut to <coughs> CD to this. So, if we ls here, I do have my original. Um, RC holo, so I'm going to go ahead and actually rm the rc dot holo dot backup. So that's pretty much what I have in here. So uh, this is the uh, the old theme from my last video. This is a new copy. So basically, what I did here was just copy um, etc xdg awesome rc lua to rc lua to 3.5 original. And then just copied RC Lua 3.5 original to RC.Lua. And so that basically just started me over here. Let's take a look at the themes I have. So uh, <clears throat> default sky and Zenburn are, you know, just come naturally when you just copy everything over from uh, XDG. The holo was the theme that, like I said, you saw in my other videos uh, since the 3.5 update. So what we're going to do here is I found uh, a really cool uh, theme. Um, it's this uh, power arrow. A couple things new here that I don't know how to do yet. You can see these colors and little triangle deals here. I think it's got a pretty good, uh, pretty good mix here. We've got a uh, Probably download speed. We might put uh, add a up up uh, load speed as well. We've got a couple things. Memory looks like battery charging percent. Volume. I wonder if this is interactive. It might be. Memory. Uh, sorry. CPU. Memory and even some Gmail. So I figure this would be an interesting one to copy. So uh, props to uh, ESN89. So I think there's a general license on here. Make sure before I do this. Well, I hope so. Hopefully, uh, hopefully not gonna have a problem with it. <coughs> Let me know if you do, if you see this. <coughs> so, anyways, um, so yeah, notes to this guy. So, uh, pretty much start here. Let's go into the awesome directory, and we have have this uh, power power arrow. It's kind of a funny setup here. It's got the RC Lua out here and the, all the stuff like this uh, layer further down uh, from the RC. But basically, what we want to do is uh, we need to copy, I guess you could call that theme. So, this all this stuff needs to go to uh, under your awesome themes and then Power Arrow. So, if we go over here to uh, clear this out. We need to make a file called mkdiet directory uh, power arrow. And inside power arrow, it's empty now, obviously just made it. Inside that we need to get all this stuff. Now you can do something like, oops, um, Git clone, but it's tricky because he's got this, this stuff all over the place. It wouldn't work if you get cloned to this because these are all in the wrong directory. So let's go back to here. Uh, I got the RC Lua here. We'll be getting to that. And this needs to go, like I said, all this stuff needs to go in your theme folder. So, uh, you know, the problem is all these, all these icons need to go in their perspective folders. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and do that. It takes forever, unfortunately. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll come back when it's ready. Okay, so I went in and did all the copying. So if we're, uh, we're here in uh, Power Arrow F. I did call it Power Arrow F, by the way. I suspect it's going to be in a lot of stuff. And I copied over the theme and made a quick change. So if we just ls the, uh, LS the icons and ls the layouts ls the tag list, ls the title bar. Uh, there's the things there, there's everything there. 
I uh, copied the themes over theme.lua so if we do uh, uh, them theme.lua uh, hmm, where is it open oh it's probably not open it's probably uh, it's probably a swap so anyways I did make a change called it uh, there was a there was a dish, uh, issue with the way he had it worded here. So if we go to theme.lua, uh, it was his config and dr just directly to awesome uh, because of what I said. The uh, directory for this is funny because this should be under themes, not under its own. To stay with the uh, to stay with the normal. Um, syntax would be to have your theme files under themes where he had it it would be power arrow at the same level as these folders here and I didn't like that so we're going to move everything to th uh, themes one level further than he has it here oops that's not what I meant to do but then he has it here so all I did was add uh, themes right here and my username you're going to want to change your put your username in here Okay, so once you have that, everything is going to go to uh, path config, to config, and then you'll see everything here goes past that to power our F. So when you do have, uh, so put it in here, <coughs> config, awesome themes, power our F, and uh, put your icons, tag list, theme.lua in there, make the changes to theme.lua. And we're good to go. So let's go up one level, two levels, and uh, Control C there. And uh, let's go ahead and open our C.lua. And so what we're going to do here, um, let's bring up his RC Lua. Back, back, bring it up. Okay, so the only thing different here, it looks like, is it does have vicious in here. So we're going to want to go down here, copy, paste, for md uh, vicious. Uh, the default, I'm going to make this look a little better. Everything's got to line up. I don't like these. All right, so that looks good. <clears throat> I am going to uh, bring up gedit because I need to copy from my RC Lua, and it's hard to copy from them. Now open. Uh, let's go open here. Do that there. All right. Everything looks the same through here. Um, here's where he calls the theme. He's calling his terminal, all that kind of good stuff. I'm going to use mine, which is all my variable definitions here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and my mod keys. Mod keys means you can use the power key and also your alt. alt mod one is your alt key to put more key bindings in there because you end up running out for things like shortcuts to terminals and stuff. So let's go ahead and go down here and go to your variable definitions. X, capital O, enter, enter, shift, insert. Okay. All right, so let's make some changes here. So uh, your OS, so this is going to tell you where your home is. That's just forward slash homes, forward slash in, uh, username. The, the con configuration directory is config awesome. Um, I'm not going to leave this here. I'm going to go ahead and hash that out because we don't have any scripts. Uh, active theme. And we're going to call that power arrow F. Um, once you're in there, you get your theme from active theme. So it's kind of cool this way is that uh, once you do your conf directory, then your themes is just one level further. Your active theme is one level further than that, than themes. So conf, conf, active theme from themes. And then uh, 
user theme dot Lua. So once we do this, uh, this is just calling some other things. Uh, let's go ahead and do Control W or uh, colon W reload. All right, and there it is. There is the uh, Holo theme. Uh, one thing I did do uh, while I was copying all this stuff is I have a uh, fast way to change scripts. Uh, so let's just go to scripts and vim holo dot sh. And it's basically this just uh, been uh, a bash script here. Copy the holo rc dot lua to the active rc lua and then use pipe uh, awesome restart into the awesome client because this is a, a lua command and you can't call it just awesome dot restart from bash so you have to pipe it into client and uh, did the same for um, power arrow it's the same thing you just copy the power arrow to the active and restart awesome cool thing about that is you can just go holo oh sorry easy so we go awesome then you'll see my script or my theming so let's just go ahead and go oh um, theming I just uh, holo to, to run that holo script power arrow to run the power script Ctrl W Q Z to reload the shell and then just go holo and we're back and if we want to go back to power arrow and we're back oh hold on oh you know what I just did uh, I'm going to save this again and reload so luckily I had that open still so now we're back to ah oh, damn it okay so what I just did is I wrote over the uh, RC Lua so what we're gonna do really quickly is uh, damn it, I hate when, hate it when you do that you get hasty okay so we're going to copy the RC.Lua original to RC.Lua ERC So if you didn't catch what I just did, I basically wrote a script and wrote over it with my other RC before I created a backup. So I'm just going to get caught back up again real quick. Oops. IP for a menu bar to work uh, vicious. Anyways, don't get uh, too much of a hurry. That's the, that's the theme of it right there. So let's go ahead and go back down here. Zero V D capital O enter enter. Copy paste uh, Ford Holo phone. Okay. D word power arrow F. Reload, make sure it works. It does. So now, before we do that script again, we copy rc.lua to rc.lua.powerarrow. Now we can run holo. And go back over here and run power arrow. There we go. So now we can sw switch between these very easily, very quickly. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, end that here. Uh, before we get into a bunch of the customizing and stuff like that. So if you have any questions, as always, let me know. Talk to you later.